He's got the remote. Okay, and I got the remote, yes. And you want to hit record? Record. Oh, yeah. Black Sun in the hizzle, all for shizzle dizzle. We got an excellent show here today. But first, I'm going to say the views and opinions, and that of the arena does not reflect that of Comcast, its staff, or affiliates. And the views of Black Sun does not reflect that of the arena. We are a council. Today, we're going to be talking about a theocracy, what, how that defines a theocracy, and we're going to define church and state. We're going to define, yes, we're going to define, 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 and we're going to stay on track, aren't we, idiot? Yowza, yowza, yowza. All right. To my right, Dawn, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Dawn, and uh, it's good to be here. And you know it's always darkest just before the dawn. <laughs> I be your brother, get on. All right, all right. So, okay. Uh, let's get started with the theocracy. Let's define that. Okay. Um, from what I've seen, a theocracy is where the ultimate ruler of a government is uh, a higher power, you know, usually God, Allah, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, okay. and that essentially the people put in place are the representatives of. It's kind of like divine right rule, divine in, so, in right. some way, in some ways. Okay. And Can you that, define that? Because I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm green well, to all this. Well, divine right rule is where people believe that the king. The belief. The the the, the king is has been established by God to rule over the people. How do they establish that? Ayatollah Khomeini. Right, no, good point, but how do they, I, I'm, we're gonna give the breakdown. Um, so, so theocracy, so Give me theocracy. that right there. Uh -uh, no, nah, right, right, not right, between right, the two right, of you. All right, all right. Okay, all right, all right. okay. All right. So, so essentially a theocracy is where, you know, the beliefs of, uh, among that belief system um, dictate what laws are, are created Mm -hmm. Stuff like that, but the leader of the nation is actually the supernatural being, um, however you interpret that, exactly. um, and that the you know that it's basically the will of that supernatural leader. That's a theocracy. So how do you determine that will? How how do I determine that? Or how does that theocracy determine that will? I want to get the breakdown. You know, I might want to give into this theocracy. Well, um, I don't know how that is determined. I think that pretty much um, if you look at the Old Testament of the Bible, for mm -hmm. those who, who do believe that as the Hebrews were successful in their battles, that meant God was on their side. And when God was no longer on their side, that sent a king to take that over. I think that was Nebuchadnezzar. Well, Nebuchadnezzar so, was one of the kings that the children of... Uh, Israel okay, fell me, under uh, the authority. Oh, oh, get it, get it, get it. We gotta, so, uh, go ahead, go ahead. so I think, I want the, I think from theocracy, the yeah, to be universal because it's not only just the Bible, but I want to know the remember because I'm an atheist and yes. I represent yes, atheists. Yes, yes, so, mm -hmm. but that's how I want to hear Bible stories. Or, but that's how a theocracy the is defined, right. mm -hmm. and the example that I gave is probably the real life example. When we're talking about the separation of church and state. Well, well, well hold on, hold on. See, you, you're going too fast. Mm -hmm. You got to break okay. this down. This is a just a, this is a one-on-one -on -one class. How hold does on, hold on. okay? How do we implement? Like, give me uh, examples of legislation. Like, I guess because as the atheist community, we'd be concerned about legislation. Like, I don't know. Like. Uh, I guess Saudi Arabia somehow they believe and they have the divine right that women can't drive. Would that be an example of a theocracy? Okay. Um, or that women are property. Or that, you know, you are a witch. We saw you and therefore we're going to behead you because you were practicing witchcraft, which is the actual case that. Okay. So what I think God. you're doing is you're jumping ahead because okay, okay. we're actually t because you're because you're talking about from an atheist perspective as if this cannot exist in an atheist country. No, no, no. I'm a asking you a theocracy. Right. I'm this is what a theocracy you. is. A theocracy is a divine right rule. It is a rule where basically the laws mm -hmm. and you know and, and the statutes mm -hmm. fall within a specific belief system. Mm -hmm. So right. that's what a theocracy is. Okay. How do theocracies get enacted? 
I do not have one set answer for everything. We can talk okay. about Saudi Arabia's history. I mentioned okay. the history of the Bible. Mm -hmm. okay. But for, you know, for us here as Americans in this country, and you know, since you know, okay, one of the okay. reasons, but okay, one of the no, reasons no, no, why no. we're talking about theocracy is because we are talking about the separation of church and state. I know, but I want to, I want to get, I want to first. We got a whole hour. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So the second half. But I also don't take the weight of all of that. So. Oh, okay. Right. 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 So what I'm yeah, saying is I've, that I gave my definition. The second hour. Right. Right. So I want to, but you gave the definition. Okay, Gideon. Yeah. Because second hour we can deal with separation church state. I want to break down. We have one hour. <laughs> 30 minutes, so I want to break down a theocracy and sure. make sure we're all okay. on one accord and get okay. an understanding as sure. spiritual, as atheist, as a Hebrew. Sure. I want to make sure that okay. we're on one accord with the whole theocracy and use real life situations well, so I, I can understand. Rule is, okay. uh, Don really broke it down very effectively. I thought but so. how we select a leader is through that divine intervention and one saying an individual like a Abraham or Abraham was selected through divine selection. In essence, this power, this higher power, told him to f leave out of Ur of Chaldees, his in Turkey, so can and I move ask, to a far. So can I ask? Now you got y'all got to bear with wait me. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait, wait! Wait! He didn't finish talking. No! 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 But I, it's something I don't understand. Go ahead. Yes. So I'm going to ask for breakdowns, Don. Okay. This is, one of, this is a. Go ahead. This is one of our. You, this is a breakdown one-on-one -on -one show. Go so ahead. I'm going to ask questions. That's I don't no problem. Can you wait until he finishes? I, no, I got to okay. get understanding. Go ahead. So how, Gideon? Yes. Do you determine this divine interpretation? Like, how do I know this person? God talked to this person. Like, how do well, I know Don, that? she she uh, defined it and and she stated that when there is like a conflict. And this okay. person is given a divine decree to go in and take property or land or whatever, and you actually are able to do that. And this inspiration like came. Domain. Well, this inspiration came from this higher power, and you are able to go in, like when I was talking about Abraham leaving his country, going to another country, establishing a family, and then there was lands that were end up being taken, and you were actually able to take it. Okay. You find out that that decree or that... Uh, okay, this is why I'm asking you yes. and Don to be very patient with me. Of course. So no based problem. on a belief. Yes. Mm -hmm. Based on a belief. Exactly. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, go ahead. So when this individual is given a divine decree, a spiritual mandate to do perform a specific function, and that function is successfully completed, then that reinforces the belief that this divine decree was from a power that has control over natural things, humankind, mankind. So what we talk about in, in, a, in the realm of a theocracy is that it is, as she indicated, a higher power that defines a specific set of rules, regulations, and laws. Uh, uh, yes, you exactly. Said the higher power yes. defines. It defines. So mm -hmm. it defines through a person. It does. So mm -hmm. there's no so I just have to believe the higher power has appointed you. Let's just say hypothetical. Right. Mm -hmm. We have a theocracy. Right. And you're part of the I don't know. The well, we don't have it yet. We're developing a theocracy. Right. Oh. So I'm trying to Who's find we? out. Well, we Moses. would be like Moses. Moses Hebrew again. Oh, oh, I'm what? not. I'm not doing that. Well, talk okay. about that, Don. Why? Why? Well, what's wrong with I, the divine force? The divine. No, 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 no. I, okay. I divine force. I, I think. You know, I, I think you know Gideon and I are actually trying to ex you know give you the answers that you're looking for. Right. Um, there are yes, there are people who are considered anointed. There are mm -hmm. people who are considered blessed and mm -hmm. set apart by God. Right. Okay. And so these people, you know, even through Greek society, mm -hmm. some of the seers were voices for the gods. Mm -hmm. You know, if you remember Oedipus Rex, mm -hmm. and you see, you know, sort of like, uh, you know, how did he discover that he was the one? who murdered his father and, and married his mother mm -hmm. because there was a person who was anointed by God who would speak for God. Mm -hmm. And so for a theocracy, you know, there, you know, as Gideon has also said, mm -hmm. that usually there are, you know, if God is with you, then there are achievements that mm -hmm. you would have and mm -hmm. then you would establish that divine right rule. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And see, when we look at Moses, he, was, he saw this symbol of, of a burning bush. Uh -huh. 
that burning bush was on a mountain. And of course, as she mentioned the mythology of the Greeks and the Romans, they thought Mount Olympus was a place where the gods dwelt. And so there was a fear established among the people because many people would not go up on the mount. Moses went on the mount. Mm -hmm. He received commandments that he wrote in stone. Those commandments would be the principles and the policy mandate of this divine deity that he would pass down to other believers. So the theocracy would have to, I guess, I'm assuming, because we don't have, like, Wikipedia or any definition of system of government, which pres rule in the name of God or a God. So, right. Which assuming, is what we said. Right. right. So which is what you said. So I'm assuming, I'm, I'm trying to break down the whole mechanics. Certainly. Of, like, so the nation, I'm assuming, let's just say Iran. Right. Who has a theocracy. The Ayatollahs. The whole nation were Muslims, and all the Muslims just say, you know what, or like ISIS, mm -hmm, you know. Mm -hmm. I guess they all decide, or Al-Qaeda. They say, you mm -hmm. know what, we're all Muslims. Mm -hmm. Let's form a theocracy. We all agree with it, right? Or we can say Israel, mm -hmm. who, decided to become an, it, who decided to become a Jewish state. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. And actually, how that happened, we can, you know, we can blame the, uh, Great Britain, the United States, exactly. and Ashkenazi yes. Jews, mm -hmm. who expelled hundreds and thousands of Palestinians, Palestinians right, murdered sir. them, you know, in order to establish. But something that um, I think maybe you and I missed mm -hmm. was that a lot of times what is divinely foretold, mm -hmm. as in there is a prophecy or there is something that fulfills. So say, for instance, when people said that, you know, Jesus or Yahshua mm -hmm. oh, is coming, exactly. then... Like then well, I, 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 I'm not. I'm not talking about Y2K. Well, so what if I say Hillary's going to be the first? But what would man? happen okay. is, is that they would say that a deliverer, like what mm -hmm. was that they would say about Moses, that that, that a deliverer would, would come, exactly. and he would come bearing this, that, and the other thing. And so, therefore, when you see these signs, mm -hmm. and so for um, the Jewish people, um, I, I would say the Zionists, which is a political movement, not mm -hmm. Judaism. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, they heard that, you know, Israel is their home, their place of return. Right. And so they, ha they felt they had divine right mm -hmm. to that land mm -hmm. based on the scripture, based mm -hmm. on what their religious um, leaders so Donna, and such have said. So are you saying that, um, like, let's just say Israel, because I've heard this many times about how the Zionists are being tight because they're a political movement. So you're saying that Israel made this agreement. A political movement started by an atheist, by the way. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right, yes. So Zionism Stop. was Not started by atheists. <laughs> Right. Herzl right. was an atheist. You're right. Yeah, so was Stalin, <laughs> and so was Mao. But, yeah. You know, I mean, you're right. But, right. Um, but yeah, and actually that predates the, the birth of Israel. That actually came out. Um, so my question is this. My question is that, so when Israel was formed, I guess the assumption that we were going to all rule Israel under a theocracy, and that's, so that's why we're frowning upon the atheist Zionists. Is that what the conclusion? No. The problem with the, uh, the Zionist uh, um, Zionist, thank you, mm -hmm. is that it's uh, that Israel. It, it, what is it? That the Jewish people are a people without a land, mm -hmm. and that Palestine was a land without a people. The thing is, is that Palestine had a lot of people there, mm -hmm. and in fact, there were mm -hmm. Jewish and, and Palestinians living, living together. together right. per, you know, just just chilling, having a good time. Mm -hmm. And so when it came time to figure out, you know, where, you know, what's going to happen after World War II, then it was a takeover. I would say, though, that even though they're saying that they want a democratic Jewish state, the problem whoa, is, whoa, whoa, whoa. is that. Wait, you said a democratic Jewish state? That's what Israel calls itself. Okay, now or when the agreement, okay, I'm, I'm not, now, see, that's why we got to slow it down. Well, there was so an original. Was, no, hold on, hold okay. on. So let's let's rewind it. I got to backtrack. You right. Know, I'm, you know, us atheists are slow. Right That's now, okay. Yeah, you know, so no. So we need problem. to write down. You know, we need yeah. details. They say devils in the details. Well, that's what we want to take you back to so, the origin. So, did Anak and Begin did he make this agreement that we were going to be a theocratic state, Israel being the chosen people of God? And well, see, I really want to. I want to. I want to lead up to where Dawn is now because see, there was an original takeover by our people 
of the land of Canaan. I'm going to ask the question Canaan. again because I'm confused. Well, so that's, what, that's what I'm saying. Let me let me bring you back. Okay. And Don is going to update you when we get to the uh, Israeli. So you're saying Don's going to answer the question. You're going to like dance around and she's going to answer no, the question. No, well, it's really going to confuse me, Gideon. No, it's not going to confuse I'm you. I'm confused right now. I'm simply telling you. Okay. Our people, what she said, the first takeover was when we went into what's called now Africa. When our whoa, people whoa, whoa, came whoa, out wait, of wait, Israel. Wait, 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 I need a gavel. I need the gavel. What do you need the gavel for? Yo, I'm going to ask the question, because I'm going to ask the question again. Well, go ahead, Don. I'll let Don. When Israel came together, was there an agreement? 1948. Okay, so there's, an, there's a declaration that Israel was going to be a theocratic state, correct? That Israel was going, if, if, if theocracy is divine right rule, I don't think necessarily that um, Judaism would actually fall along with that. That's more of a Zionist state than it is Judaism, because Zionism no, 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 and Judaism not, are antithetical. Okay, okay, let me ask this question again. I, I know y'all be patient with me. And what you was be patient the with us too. I'm, I'm trying to be, I'm trying yes. to be, I'm trying to be, because I'm trying to look at forms of government. When you have a nation, they mm -hmm. form a type of a government that the people, I'm, I'm assuming, agree upon. Or the powers that be. So the powers that Actually, be. Actually, not necessarily. Exactly. Okay, so the powers that be in Israel. Let's just use Netanyahu. Let's use the reality of when Israel was formed. This is we going way ahead. Okay. With Benjamin. Let's go back and knock, knock him bacon. What I'm saying was, what was the form of government? Was a what is a democracy or a theocracy? It's a simple question. Well, see, you you. That's why I was trying to take you back. See, there too. There were two sons. Israel's formation was not in 1948. It was with Abraham, who begot Isaac. Isaac, well, who begot Jacob. Well, wait, Jacob. well, wait, well, wait. Actually, I'm actually about we're talking the about reality. two different. We're talking about yes. two different things. Right. I when I say that the state of Israel right. was created, you, you might be talking about the nation. Of exactly. Right, I'm, not, I'm talking about the state I'm talking of about Israel. Nakam, hey, let's, okay. Nakam well, we were Begin, dealing with Nakam a theocracy. Nakam Begin? Nakam Begin? Nakam Begin. Nakam Begin. Nakam Begin. Yes. Okay. You know who he is. So are we? Are we? Are we on the same page as Nakam Begin? I I can follow you very okay. well. Okay. Gideon. Yes. Let's start with 1948. So that's where you want to start? Oh, this yes. Is problem. See, that, that's why the gavel yes. is necessary there. Yes. Mm, okay. That's why the gavel is necessary for Gideon. But, but I mm. think it's good as a council, yes. black son, as a council, right. that we can say, hey, what I'm describing is the state of okay, Israel, exactly. and what he's what describing just... is the nation. Okay, and right. I'm asking him a specific question, Gideon and Don. You, okay. You okay. Why I'm asking. When Nakam Begin took over this part of Palestine and kicked mm -hmm. the uh, Palestinians out and mm -hmm. started Israel, mm -hmm. some say a legal state. I'm not. I'm not With the assistance about of the British Empire the and the U.S. Exactly. So this illegal government mm -hmm. would they they decide on a democracy or a theocracy? I'm going to say this again until it's answered. Well, it's a, it is a combination not, of it both. It is not a theocracy. They right. consider themselves the democratic state of Israel. Exactly. Okay. Thank you, Don. And that's a political See, statement, it, yeah. but it's not, it's not a theocracy. A theocracy is based on a religious belief. When we talk about the nation, the people that are in the land today, they identify with the European concepts of democracy mm -hmm. and they, a, a political movement. When we talk about a theocracy, what we're talking about is a belief system that sets That's up true. a set of rules that are based on a spiritual mandate from a higher power, which is what we were saying from the beginning. When so, our people originally took over the land in Africa, we were kicked out after being disobedient to this higher power. Okay, what I'm going to do right now, get in. Yes. Because I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I was trying to go in a certain direction. You go ahead. But the That's thing okay. is, the theocracy is based in a belief, and he's right. explaining that belief. I know, I know. It, but, but I mean, I if already, we don't want to talk about the belief, then we can talk I, I about, right, you know, know the political belief, right, aspect. We talk yeah. about the belief. We talk about these political stories. Because right, theocracies right. are based on belief. Right. Right. So. And, now, and it would answer I'm your question about where things come from. Right. Okay. Okay, but now I'm trying to establish, I'm trying to follow the trail here. Okay, go ahead. Israel, mm -hmm. um, because they're not a theocracy, and why this attack on the Zionists? Like, so now let's, I guess, break down the doctrine. Because it's a democratic country, and so if there's a democratic country, then you're allowed to have different parties to represent those different aspects of that society. Well, what you have to understand or overstand is that they are part of the G7 
government. Can I answer this one? Go ahead. Please. Um, so you can call yourself a democratic country and not be a democratic country. Certainly. We're in that country. Right. I'm just saying. You know, in there, you know, they probably have different parties, but Palestinians are not represented. Ethiopian Jews right. are barely represented. They're right. allowed to, I guess, exist a little bit better than Palestinians. There are also large numbers of Africans who have been cast into uh, large open air prisons. So there's also that. Um, some would, some might say that Hamas, being democratically elected, could be another party, but it's not considered a legitimate party by right. the state. True. So you can have a country that says they're democracy. A country can really say whatever it is. Exactly. You know, um, this country, the country that we live in, right. is supposed to be a democracy. democracy. So then, well, but it is okay, not. It's so, the hypocrisy so why, of democracy. It's actually so, okay, a republic. Okay, and anybody can answer this question. So why? And this this is modern time. Mm -hmm. Why is there a pushback against the Zionists? Well, well go ahead, Don. Because they're killing Palestinians. No, because I mean, they're using a political movement in which the removal of Palestinians would secure the Jewish state. Okay. Right. That essentially, like I said, the Jewish that, that you know with with the with so the their Holocaust policy is just to exterminate happening. right exterminate actually Palestinians. the new one of the new uh, officials of you know said straight up that they're going to remove Palestinians. They have. That's right. what they're saying. Absolutely. Last year there was this huge, you know, so because was that one, part of the, the, so one of was the reasons part of their why original, was that part of their original doctrine too? It was just to remove it, to remove Palestinians. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's how they, they were record. established. Right. That's why. Right. That's why the establishment of Israel is right. also called the Nakba, which also means the catastrophe or okay. the disaster. Okay. And so that's why boycott, divestment, and sanctions, which is a similar tactic used by you know South. African activists mm -hmm. so to boycott and divest from boycott, divest, and sanction Israel until they grant the right of return mm -hmm. to uh, Palestinians, so, until they grant equal, you know, basically be the democracy so they tend to be. So they, they base this pushing on about the Palestinians based on their, uh, the, the belief, right? Well, no. Actually, no? it is a worldwide conspiracy to destroy indigenous people and use the, when I said G7, so what the is the, G8 get, get government of the I will say, I will the say that um, Zionism is actually a Western colonialist and influenced political movement. movement exactly. it's, so okay, it's based so I, in Western what, colonization. I'll right. tell you what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if we're going to have time to do this. I wanted to, and that's why I was asking specifically mm -hmm. for certain things, but I'll tell y'all what. So Zionism is not pushing the Palestinians out. I mean, what I'm saying is I want to read their doctrine, so I guess we're going to have to come back to that. So we're going to have to just shelve that for now because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not, with every nation, whether it be bloodthirsty like America or Israel, mm -hmm. everyone has a doctrine. Certainly. Everyone has a constitution. Everybody mm -hmm. has an agenda. Right. And so based on what I've heard mm -hmm. is that Israel believed that they were the people of God and that there is that that is their land. The Palestinians believe the same thing. And mm -hmm. so they were going to push out they were also already non Israelis, there. right? But God don't care. But see, you have to understand they don't believe in the Bible. That's why I'm trying to tell you so, but, there, but, but, is a, okay, there is Gideon, a philosophy and there's the reality of Gideon, how they Gideon, does their doctrine say base because they're the chosen people of God to push out the Palestinians, yay or nay? No. America oh, uses and Israelis use that as a cover for oh, their military oh, oh. So advancement. They use, they use a religious doctrine yes. to kill and murder. Let me say this for Absolutely. the record. Absolutely. What, is, is, what Gideon is saying, doctrine. I know, I know, but what the Zionists are doing mm -hmm. and what Gideon is saying, what America is doing, is that they're using a biblical doctrine right. to slaughter and murder Absolutely. Palestinians. Absolutely. That's exactly Thank what you. they're doing. And that's Thank what they've you. been doing. That's what America is doing. Based on a theocracy. Doing. So America be, is so saying. Would, so would that be under a theocracy? I mean, this is a learning show. This is not a, again, this is a now, different type the, of show. Again, the concept I'm of learning. the theocracy has to do with the higher power empowering individuals who then form government to take, secure, and maintain that power. Mm -hmm. So what we're talking about in, with America, United, uh, the United States, Europe, and the Israelis, they're forming 
on the guys and on the with the uh, image of having a religious crusade, right. but in reality, it's a political movement to take control over land and resources. So the the issue of a theocracy has to do with the higher belief, and that's what they say. America says, "Well, we're going to support Israel because they right. are the people of God." Right? Lie. They went in in 1948. I'm not concerned about Gideon, but what I'm saying, what I'm saying to you and Don is, I'm not concerned about lies at this point. Well, no, you, you asked about theocracy. The yeah, you right. asked about theocracy right. and, and why the countries on, are the way they right. are. And so based we're trying to on explain the theocracy, that. based on a theocratic mm -hmm. concept, Israel, Gideon has already verified that Israel is pushing out the Palestinians based on a biblical belief. Whether you think it's a lie or not, Gideon, that's well, it's a fact. cover. It's but a it's, cover. Okay. Zionism right, so. is not Judaism. Right. Zionism is not Judaism. In fact, Hayo Meyer, on his tour, he was a survivor of uh, the Holocaust. Oh, can you break he was the, 14 can you break down the two? Please, yeah, break down the two. Because whether you Zionist or Ju uh, Judaism, don't both of them believe but that they're the people of God? Well, they use that as a pretext to allow people to return to the land. They have a and process called the Aaliyah program, which I went through myself, to be able to go back to return to the land. And we have other people. But again, it is not based on biblical beliefs. What they use are certain concepts like the baptism. When they went and got the Falasha from Ethiopia, those people were able to go back to Israel because they knew without question their own geneticists were able to prove that their genetic line went back to the tribes of Levi. But when they got to the land, they made them take what they call a ritual washing to verify their lineage or their, uh, uh, what can I say, their being a part of the Israeli government. So they used a biblical ritual to solidify their political stance and bring these people under their authority where they can put them in their military and have control over them. So what we're finding there is a, a merging of church and state. So when we talk about a separation, there's really never been a separation of church and state. There's been a use of church-based the the uh, theology okay, so and philosophy to uh, control people to okay, so get them to uh, follow the mandates of a government that's about dictatorial uh, takeovers and colonization of people. Okay, so in 2015, can you give me a legislation that is based on a uh, biblical principle? Well, I just mentioned about the uh, LEA program and the Zionist movement. No, in America. Well, in America, what we're looking at is the ideology of Christianity. Give me a legislation or policy, please. Actually, hold it. Are we are we now talking about we the separation now, of church and state? It is now five thirty. Yes. That's, okay. Because yes. because honestly, now I, we're talking I, about separation of church and state. Okay. So separation of church and state is not in the Constitution of the United States. Okay. Those words separation of church and state are not in the Constitution. The Constitution is a legal document. Okay. What the separation of church and state is is part of a letter that Thomas Jefferson wrote to um, Baptists, I believe, in 1801, okay. where he was trying to, you know, because the thing is, is that he was trying to explain the freedom to exercise religion mm -hmm. and that no public official shall have to take a religious test in order to assume office. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there's that. So that means you don't have to be a Christian mm -hmm. to be a public officer in this country mm -hmm. okay. because you know this was as a result because the early Americans were immigrants um, fleeing England to right. want you know wanting to practice their own religion right and so basically it was yes you can be free and so it was not uh, to basically prevent people from being religious. Understood. It was actually to protect them. Okay. So there is no, separation so of church and state is me. not in a legal document. It's document. a misnomer. So when you say protect, no, there was not going to be no dominance of one particular, let's say, denomination, correct? The, country, the, the Constitution says that there will be no, esta that, um, no establishment of or legislation uh, of, of a particular religion. But that, of course, was a lie because we know in the okay, schools, the in the educational system, they mandate or they intrude and, and create this 
uh, mandate for children to deal with Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving, all of these holidays. Is legislation, Gideon? When I say legislation, I'm talking about it's the educational system. The school system and so the, the books that they, they, act, they literally force the children to Halloween? participate in Christmas, religions, mm -hmm. holiday, Easter. And this is in 2015? This is today, right now. Easter. Is, is there are people have, being forced into... Hold, hold okay, up. okay, thank you. All right. Now, now I, I can relax. Um, now. Yes. Please do. Yes. Um, so... <laughs> Yeah. Um, so there are. The, I, I've ne I've been in school, and sure. I have I never have been well. forced no, to I celebrate have. Christmas. I have never been forced to celebrate Halloween. But there have been grades given for participating and drawing artifacts, creating uh, on Halloween these uh, carvings out of various people. It. When I say forced. It, even though you may be able to opt out, because my children were able to opt out, other people who don't believe so are able to opt out, you, oh. you still oh. are you're isolated. You're you isolated because the, the vast majority Get of hold the up, media. Hold up. So you're not forced but, but if you can opt out. Well, if you can opt, wait a minute, certainly. what what you were saying, right. if we you can opt somebody. out, what what act, because I mean, even though you're not forced to do something, there's also, you know, how are they ostracized? How They're ostracized they, because the vast majority of the children and teachers are promoting and participating with it. When they have uh, Christmas trees. Wait a minute, when that's they, not forced though. That's not, I'm, I agree. That's not I did, forced. I did say, and I had to recant the term you force. Okay, okay. You are able to opt out, and I did agree for record, with that. Gideon's reopting his statement. Okay, Absolutely. Ahead, right. But you still have the dominant presence of all of these symbols, all the rituals, all of the uh, accoutrements of these particular holidays. Mm -hmm. When the president has an Easter egg hunt on, at, on the White House grounds, that is an indication of their not only accepting, that, that shows you there's no separation of uh, well, uh, between also, church and state. Well, wait a minute. As I said, separation of church and state is not Ex in I agree. the Constitution. Exactly. What okay. it's usually called is a wall between church and state. I agree. Okay. And so that doesn't necessarily, because um, they, they've had different uh, religious uh, they ha I, 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 I feel bad that Yanga's not here to tell me exactly. It's, it's an ifar. They had an uh, ifar yeah, yes, right. yeah, dinner yeah, yeah. Yes. at the White House. Sure. Yes. So, sure. I mean, the, th the thing is, is that um, I think that there's something that you're saying, whether, you know, even though it's not legislative, like we can't put out laws that say this is according to our yes. God to do this. They enforce it. You know, it. we cannot do that. However, what we are, you know, the reality, I think I was having a conversation with Black Sun about this, right. is that your you president, right. when was the last time we had a president who was an atheist, right. who right. was or a Muslim, exactly. or who was, who was Jewish? You haven't. The thing is, is that <laughs> you cannot be the lead, even though the Constitution says that no religious tests right. will be given, you are still expected because there's uh was it de jura and de facto uh, right and de so jure. by law mm -hmm. and by basically the color of law what what happens exactly. and so segregation is is you know by, law, by law, law right but, but there's not. segregation very Absolutely. real here happening in this country okay, right. so then when we're back to talking about a democracy and not a democracy by law the united states is a democracy okay. but in fact in practice, we are not exactly so when you okay. have the president going to first jeremiah wright's church uh -huh. then mm -hmm. going to another church changing his throwing jeremiah wright under the bus and changing and his religion there wasn't an outcry and then that. having him having to go have uh counsel all the presidents have to have okay, counsel Gideon, with the pope what i'm missing you understand? though is that you're saying that the theocracy is being forced upon us and i don't, don't i don't know if you No, what that. i'm saying that the theocracy is a I cover for the political moves of the government, you said theocracy is the, a cover, the, or the democracy? Term theocracy. Oh, democracy. The term theocracy is a cover for a belief system that America talks about, just like but democracy. The, but the United States is not a theocracy. It, right. No, they're claiming democracy. They right. are claiming okay, democracy, so is that and what that you she just say? exactly. Okay, That's she, what I'm okay. saying. Okay. They say one thing, they do something else. 
for the me people who don't do the research and don't understand and just look at what the media throws at them yeah. and listen, listen to what the pundits say, they believe that we're under a Christian-run government when okay, the vast so majority I'm of people are atheists, they never believe in the Bible, uh, the Israeli people do not believe in the Bible, don't believe in the Messiah, they are not the people of the book. Whoa, 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 wait, whoa, wait. When I think about the United States and its democracy, and, and so when I was thinking, looking at the definition of the, the wall between church and state, which is yes. not explicitly stated, the words separation right. of church and state is not in our constitution. Sure. But, you know, the, the freedom to express religious right. freedom and also that no test will be required for you to assume office. Why then does our president have to be Christian? Well, why then does, right. why is it that, right. um, and, and when we were talking about That's a right. multiple party system before, sure. like, you know, I was told by somebody online that, you know, the only parties that can get office are the Democrats and the Republicans. Right. They are not the only parties in this country. Green Party, so, the Independent Green party, party, Libertarian Party. Absolutely. You know, but they don't have the same influence. They don't have the access. Exactly. Yeah. Because they've been blocked. And it's yes. just like with In me, a democracy. It's supposedly a democracy, but That's we know it it's, it's not. It's not a democracy. It's, a, it's the color of a democracy, mm -hmm. just like we have the color of equality. They uh, pontificate about equality, but we know that there's unjust judicial system, the educational system is unjust. So you have people who believe black that in America you have equality, but it's been they've been lying from mm -hmm. the beginning. Well, what I'm having trouble with Gideon and you being a Bible thumper, which there's <laughs> I be thump Bible it thumper, quite regularly. And I'm an atheist. You're saying I formally thumped it, but I, I'm kind of not thumping. <laughs> right, but, well, right, but what I find odd though, and it, this might be a very odd, strange as an atheist, mm -hmm. I'm asking. Where are we being subjugated to a theocracy? And you're saying, you're a Bible thumper, and you're mm -hmm. saying that we're being subjugated to a theocracy. No, I, I'm saying it, we're not. I'm actually, saying it's under the color like of what you said. I think you no. misspoke, though. Okay. I think you meant democracy. Well, what I'm telling you is that the concept of a theocracy is bandied about when they talk about Israel, mm -hmm. when they're talking about this being a Christian nation, mm -hmm. when they talk about promoting religious freedom but we know they only promote one religion one and religion, that's christianity yeah. they under the on the surface but here i, I am at, born here and i say look i am a hebrew okay. my nationality is that i'm not there's no such thing as a black there's no such thing uh, as a uh, color uh, 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 now, uh, uh, well i'm just let me make my point the reality the is it is a figment of no. the nation's concept because they have on no, our birth certificates it. black, wait, color, wait, wait. Negro. Actually, here's something. Here's it's fraud. Something. Well, it's no. actually not fraud because the census That's right. has taxes. it, the taxes, anything that is w official, w -2, w -2, everything that's official where you have to denote your race, those are the legal terms. The, but the, the term is based in fraud. But we were go what we were talking about was we were talking about a you belief. being a Hebrew versus a governmental policy. So the policy, the belief is that we are a people who have equal access according to our own ethnic origins. That's what they say. That, thank you. Right, now, right. that brings me back to the point I made about the birth certificate. There is no such thing as a Negro. There is no such thing as a colored, a black, an African American. Africa is a continent. The people who come from those places have tribal roots. So when we talk about governmental policy... And so the descendants still have those roots. We have, I have friends of mine who are from Somalia. Right. Who were born in this country. They are still Somalian. Uh, based on their birth certificate, it gives them a legal right. But birth what I'm saying is just a piece of paper. It's just well, a document. The, 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 but it's more. It's much more. That's just like the philosophy oh, well, of the geez. Constitution. Oh, the Constitution is a piece of paper. It is. But it's more. So my point is that what we find out, the importance of the birth certificate has to do with one's ethnicity, this government's confer, uh, control over you, and they actually make money off so get your it, get it, get it, get it, being get born in this oh, country. Wait, 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 wait. So what does that so what does that have to do with theocracy versus democracy? Well the democracy gives you the ability to define who you are because it is a people who 
because you come from different ethnic backgrounds mm -hmm. in a democratically elected policy it tells you as long as your people are represented then you have the ability to have a person in congress or a representative well you if you are a hebrew today. you get taxed without representation so to have a legal a lot of people get taxed without representation that's what this country was born out taxation without representation so yes. what i'm saying to have a legal legally recognized identity gives you the ability to have influence in government this is what we're talking about theocracy versus democracy when i had say that i'm a hebrew but yet this government says we will not recognize you as such they deny me the right to be able to be legally represented in this government so but they but it's say a secular that you, it's supposed to be a secular government but now we've gone beyond democracy is you know the authority system. given from the from the most high well now i'm dealing with the political side okay because so, you let us know well, but, well, okay, when okay, i start okay, talking about government doesn't, doesn't the uh and, and i know you guys argument against the democracy but doesn't that judge have the right as a secular government not to recognize the theocratic structure of your government because no because as a no. part, no, because no. I was born so here. Well, 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 wait, wait a minute, minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's not the, co the Constitution. Did never, it never said separation of church and okay. state. It's freedom hey. of religious expression. Thank you. Oh, okay. Thank you. Freedom of Thank religious you for expression. That clarity. And right. that no test will be required. Thank a religious you. test will be required. Okay. So now. actually, so you, you can point. go into court with Ex your hijab. You can, you know. Oh, you should be able to. Yeah. And, and actually, there are agree. cases where, based on your religious belief, you are able to exercise certain. Well, things. the laws had to be changed oh, because so they, were we're, now we're they were making. They were. They were keeping women out of the uh, the, court. the court with their hijab, mm -hmm. with their covering, right. Right. and 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 again with me challenging the system, saying I'm a Hebrew, I'm not a black, a colored, a Negro. That's why I said it's fraud. There is no language, land, or uh, identity that says black, colored, Negro, Africa, African American. It's all make believe. We have accepted it. Therefore, it has become a legitimized uh, fraud. So when we talk about being represented in this government, you have to be able to have a legal identity. And that's what Jesse, Minister Farrakhan, the vast majority of our people have not been able to overstand. See, you, as long as you but have But actually, the, there have been many people who have asserted identities as it as in we You're are right. black and well, actually there's no such thing as a black uh if i if i call myself black there that makes a black happen no I mean, it doesn't it's true. no it does so not you got really well, really it has, whoa, 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 oh 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 well, it has to be how does that not happen because it has to be att attached to land language legacy i am attached heritage. to the land and lang i am attached to the land my language was stolen well, what you, are they going to say about the Irish who don't speak Irish in Ireland? What I'm telling you is that we're talking about English. chattel slavery, which identified you as less than human by their own law. Which you is were a three. crime of genocide and, and... Bingo! But we are still part of the African diaspora. African, but see, diaspora this is, but meaning, see, this is the diaspora element. Diaspora meaning scattered all Absolutely. over the world. But see, this is the problem. Africa has not legitimized us. In essence, really? as a child that has a foster you mean parent. They came to, you mean they continent. came together as a continent and said, we do not legitimize um, African Americans? Is I'm, that what I'm, they let said? me make it plain. In this country. Because you know there are when, Africans everywhere. When you, right, wait a minute. Right, yeah. In this country, when you have a child born out of wedlock, there uh, is a process Gideon, called Gideon, legitimization. You're dancing, you're dancing, Gideon. I'm not. No, she asked you no. specifically. You're not following me. Well, let me. No, 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 no. Let me, Go let ahead. Let's, 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 Go let's, ahead. Child out of wedlock. Where is that going? That's going with us being because a what's people the difference without between a land. Somebody getting married. No, no it, it go, where it's going is that there are people who are without. We talked about the Palestinians. Yeah. You said they didn't have a land and a language. No, the, the they doctrine were was that the, that the, Israelis, the, the Israelis were, uh, you know, that the Jewish people, people were without people a land. Without a land. Exactly. And that the Palest Palestine was a land without a people, meaning right. that there was nobody there, which That's is right. untrue. Well, right. see, we are the original Palestinians. That's why when Miriam was on this program, I said, I am a Palestinian. 
My ancestors lived there. That's why we have been duped into believing that we have only America and we know our history predates this country. So it goes back again to theocracy versus democracy and how they play into those very two very important factors as to whether they use you for political power or whether they use you as a tool to create their own economic strength. Well, what I would say is, is that, you know, th there are different government structures besides theocracy and democracy. Absolutely. It's not just, that's right. it's not just a, that's right. a binary. That's right. So right. But that's what we're talking about this today. This country is not, the United States is not a theocracy. It is not, but it's... However, right. that does not mean that there are that there isn't religious influence. Like for instance, in the constitution, you're not supposed to be able to be, you know, give, have a religious test in order to be a leader in this country. Okay, good. However, our president, like I said, when was the last atheist president we Certainly. had? So essentially, we're, we're basically, like this country has always done, saying that you can do something and then in practice it doesn't happen. But then we remember now in the court system, so, we used yeah. to have, the Ten Commandments in the courts until one lady came up, challenged it, and then they had to take all of that. And remember in this educational- I would say that those who identify as Christians wouldn't be going by the Ten Commandments anyway. They are bound by the New Testament. But my point again is in, the, point. in, in the educational system. They used to be able to have prayer in schools. Then they legislated where no longer can you have prayer in the schools. So here again, so you have this that? conflict between theocracy and democracy and how- Theocracy is, theocracy, just because there's religion in a government that does not make it a theocracy, we define theocracy as you know, your leader has been divinely chosen. chosen. The yes. laws have been divinely chosen. Exactly. This country has never started as a theocracy. Yes. Yes. And it doesn't operate. But in our right. constitution, it does not say that, you know, no, it actually, from what I saw, it didn't say no Christianity in the schools. It did not say that. Sure. It just said okay. that you have the freedom to express religion. Also, you do not have to, t you do not have to establish your religious cred in order to take office right but in reality you do have to establish religious cred so to Don, take office so Don, let me ask you a question because he just brought up because he always harps on the prayers being taken out so let me ask Which you a question my mom does too hi mom no no no, no, no right, right. Point, that's, that's, they, they always bring that up so um i think the first ones that would probably have a backlash, and that would be the atheists, but would be the Muslims, because we'd be like, well, we pray five times a day. So I mean, exactly. what's your take? And well, the Hebrews it, as well. I would, okay, I would right. say so that it, I would say that old... different, you know, different people, you know, and you know, maybe some people meditate, you know. So why well, not? So what I'm saying, I don't, I don't okay, see necessarily. So no, what problem. you're saying is that right. we're supposed to be able to have religious freedom yes. to a okay. certain extent, but the and the government talks about it. But then they take away that freedom in the very in the first institution. That's the educational system where it's supposed to be practiced by children that Wait, are being man. brought when it's up. Not, when it's not Christian, though, because oh. the thing the thing is is that even though this is a country that said you have the right to practice your religion, that also was not. It's it's like how we the people yes. was never meant to be. We, we the people, right. we, we the people was we the white good. men who are over twenty one who exactly. own property, exactly. yeah, own exactly. okay, own, 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 own land and property. Well, so teach. so that's so that's what the Absolutely. constitution was for. We we hold on to that, and I would also say that the y'all hold on to that. Uh -oh. I, I would say that I, I would say that the constitution is essentially a term paper with post it notes because other countries have been revising their constitutions for years. Absolutely, we consider, right. but we treat it like a sacred document they do because Which they can make, is, they is make amendments all the time like a theocracy actually right exactly that's that's that's, that's I, I, now that i'm thinking about it that's kind of suspicious if you talk to people about possibly revising the constitution of the united states amendment people uh, well we have the amendments on there but i tell you what the idea of like let's scrap it and just read because if you notice on there there are certain things that no longer exist i believe prohibitions right. on there right. and stuff like that exactly like you know we could just revise it and just have it be a new document well the but fact, people would push back against the that. fact that we're three-fifths of a human is still written in their law now let me stop. <laughs> exactly. we're not 
I mean, we black men are being killed all over this country and now. Black, black women, women are as well mm -hmm. as they have been. been being killed, mm -hmm. and there's been no pushback about it. This government, white women, white men, they have not rallied against their own bigotry. Of so when not. we see this, I would also add that the prison system, those of our brothers and sisters absolutely. who have been incarcerated, right. they are disenfranchised absolutely. through that. That's Which right. you know, if you Slaves. think about, black people didn't start taking up the prisons in large amounts until after the Emancipation Proclamation. That's right. right. And so if, you know, and, and, and there was such a pushback with voting, right. you know, the vote, you know, it was legal to vote for a while, but right. then actually being free to comfortably vote didn't right. exist. So there's, so there's such thing as the law as it states and right. then what actually happens. Well, then you also have the fact that when you become incarcerated, you lose all your rights. All of them. You become nothing more than what we all are in this country, slaves. So you got slaves that are overseers of the other slaves and they get the trinkets that fall off their white master's table or some colored person that loves his white master and then that could, they put them so over the rest of us like so they've always done. Question. So you're I saying, could mess with you and say there's no such thing as a colored, but I'll stop. Well, that, that's the <laughs> only legal term. No, wait a no, minute it now. Is not. Yes, so, it is. No, it is not. No, not no colored is the only get it, get it, legal it. term for our people you that gotta, has not been updated, changed. Brother. Yeah, you gotta get updated. My brother, you gotta get updated. Gotta get updated. No, because I'm, the census does not say colored. That it is. Not. That it doesn't is, have to, but the laws on the books say. say Which book? Laws. What book? Black Law Dictionary. Bouvard's law dictionaries, dictionaries. are not no. uh, are not documents of law. Dictionaries are simply right. just records of how people have Speak. used speech. Right. In right. fact, you will notice how long have we been saying ain't? When did ain't get in the but, dictionary? But, but let's be very fact, clear. Fact, that dictionaries that are not legal. In fact, the back dons when she's saying when they say a suspect, black suspect, 6'4", or when, even when they GBI or FBI, mm -hmm. we got a black suspect. So Gideon, right. your, your term is out. No, my point is yeah, that, that yeah, those the legal terms are based in the laws. That's where they come from. They come from the, the legal. Dictionary? The legal dictionary is based on the terms Who's used legal in dictionary? legal. I just mentioned a couple of them. I'm sorry, mention the name again. Black's, Black's Law and Bouvard's. And are may these be the dictionaries that our government uses? I can't, no, I can't it's not. say that. Simple okay. fact, when they give that. a suspect, they say black male. Well, so what you're talking the about news, is the evolution of, uh, I, I of, of vocabulary and, back and, and in the day Linguistics. Yes. Right. You're talking <laughs> about <laughs> linguistics. And, I know, and I'm glad you said you know. that, there, There's certain time periods. Yeah, the evolution of, legal, of, like of made linguistics. Made a, yeah, language a, is living. You made us on a blast show, and I want to correct this since we're on here. You said that deviant was a legal term. It is not a legal term. Yes, it is. No, it's not. According go hit, him. go hit a homosexual, call them a deviant, and you will get charged with a hate crime. Well, well no, I'll well, get, wait, 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 I'll wait. get, let me I'll let get me charged with a crime. Let me clarify, <laughs> clarify, clarify. Yes. As, 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 the, as the head Break deviant here. <laughs> Break it down, though. Um, so what we're talking, what Black Sun is talking about, and I think what you are talking about are two different things as far as a legal term. Okay. It is not, you know, it is not legal to hit somebody Thank you. and call Pierrot. them a deviant. Right. You know, that is it's not legal that, to hit that anybody, is, period. That is what Black Sun is saying right. is illegal. That is a hate crime. Sure. Deviant is not the legal term when when people are talking about legislating laws and stuff like right. that. Deviant is not the term that the law offices and, right. and the legal people use. Today. It you that does not mean Today. that does not mean you can go out that you can't go out and call someone a deviant. However, right. if right. you attack that person certainly and you call them a deviant, then that could be a hate you, crime. Then, or, then you're going or, down. However, I can you're hit going that down. Same, First of I all, can, he well, said, well, I can hit that same person to come on stupid and not get charged with hate crime. Yeah. Well, I mean, stupid but, is a legal term. The, both terms are legal no, to no, they hit not. someone. No, they not. Not against, no, okay, let me clarify. It is, is not the against the law to say le, language has not been legislated. So right. it's not against the law to use that language. But, but when you say it is a legal term, what that implies is that is a term that is used in legal documents, it, it, um, endorsed by the state, how the state defines. And I'm sorry, that is not. Well, what how the state is. defines has changed. 
We know That's it's changed for, yes. from, right. so for us as people. So we're saying that it's time people. for you to get updated, brother. <laughs> well, no, I, I mean, it, it still defines a behavior pattern. I mean, when, I, when you say deviant, it is the root of the word is you have deviated from what was considered normal. Man has tried to create oh. what they call now the new normal. So can I ask this question to Don and Giddy? Did you watch that show? So too? when has, <laughs> so when uh, during has, the vagina so when, monologue? So when has the Christians enforced that upon the deviant community, Gideon? In 2014. Well, well, they have not, but they they, they not. did it during the puritanical times when they would burn the witches, time. when they okay. burn right. other people. Okay. I mean, so, so you got laws that were written on the books that said that th it was okay for them to burn a witch. Right. So on well, this the is books. What, so let's get back to the Constitution here. Okay. So the Constitution does not say separation of church and state. That right. is an explanation that okay. Thomas Jefferson, who, by the way, thought that we smelled bad, we weren't able to create. Well, that was awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't and bathe, didn't you want, smell and didn't bad. Want, and didn't want black people to be here because our blood was impure. That's right. in the state we were of, not human. And no that's so in the were. state of the notes on Virginia. Exactly. Um, query 14, paragraph 234. But, 264, excuse me. But there is not a separation of church and state in the Constitution. You have the right to exercise your freedom, and you do not have to take a religious test in order to come to office. Mm -hmm. Now, in terms of what, you know, what are we, because basically when we make laws to protect people, that is essentially revising the Constitution, right. trying to guarantee rights that didn't exist. Like Emancipation Proclamation, the 13th, 14th, and 15th um, amendments. amendments. Though, you know, we the people should have included us, but because but they didn't. didn't they had exactly. to add amendments in order to do so. Okay, so Don, I'm, we, we, Don, we wind it down. So I'm going to ask yeah. you a question. I'm going to ask Gideon a question. Mm -hmm. So earlier you, you, you said, it sounds like you, you had a problem with the theocracy. Is, do you have a problem with the theocracy? I'm not interested in theocracy. Explain why, please. Um, honestly, I, <laughs> I'm a former Christian, and uh, I am not interested in a top-down government. Okay. I, I believe in a council. I believe in being horizontal and people actually having a say in their government. The idea that, you know, God had, you know, told, you know, basically imbued power to somebody to rule over me. Famous I didn't system. choose that. Right. And the thing is, is that I want to choose. I'm a human being. Mm -hmm. I'm a sentient being, I'm a self-conscious being, and I choose people who supposedly make decisions for me or I make those decisions. Okay, Gideon. Yes. I theocracy. believe in a theocracy, obviously, okay. because life in and of itself is supernatural. Man, as mm -hmm. on his basic concept of life, has not been able to define what it is, has not been able to duplicate it. That's what the European scientists have been trying to create and through Frankenstein and all their other witty inventions. So I know it is, a yeah, well, it a is, a, it isn't, not today. There are many people that are walking around with various parts from other people. That's what it's called on the back of your uh, driver's oh, you license. Like, like organ donor? Exactly. That's not for, that's not uh, Well, anyway, we won't, dif we won't, discuss, <laughs> we won't <laughs> argue that point. But the point that I'm making is life itself is more than just the human existence. It is a supernatural source that we have not been able to understand or define, and it has been okay, created so by a said, higher intellect than so the average said, man or woman. So what that being said, since you're for theocracy, you don't, you don't mind Scientology taking over? Because what you just explained would fit into Scientology. Well, there are Elon certain concepts Hubbard. of what I've explained that would fit into yes a lot no. of Yes or no, would you accept them taking over the government? And the, that would be Absolutely a not. Yeah. No, no, I'm just saying, based on his description, he gave all this fancy I would, word. I would ask and for Ron, those, because, because I would ask, you know, so sort of like, what is, for those I who am. believe in just a theocracy, the right. you know, who is your God designated person on earth? Because to be perfectly honest, I don't believe anybody in That's 2015 right. is God's chosen person on earth. Well, you might be sitting at the panel with one. Oh, you Lord. feel me? <laughs> See, life itself <laughs> is defined by the creative source that is in tune with the this. natural order of things and has a level of acceptance and appreciation for all life. Yeah. So no matter how we define ourselves, uh -huh. if you can love someone, love in itself 
is the power of the creator. I, I, I believe that I, I, I'm okay with connecting love and God, but in terms of a government structure. The governmental structure is born out of love when you have. Not this one. Not, no, not this one. The one that will ultimately take over. All right. But Oh, we're done? Oh, peace! Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we out! <laughs> All right. Yeah. Boy, we went toe-to-toe, -to -toe, didn't we? Yep. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Let me give y'all a hug. You were, you were, yeah, uh, sure.